all right so today i'm gonna do i'm gonna answer some questions that i found on google they're pretty good while i do my makeup if you hear kai in the background he is yelling at elmo over there so just overlook that but anyways let me get my questions and then i'll get started all right so the first question is if you had a chance for a do-over in life what would you do differently um would I do anything over? Um, I honestly don't think I would do anything over. I'm sitting trying to think. Um, nah, I don't, I don't think I'll do anything over because I feel like everything happened for a reason, you know? You live and you learn type thing. So I would not do anything over, child. Period. Live with no regrets. Because the things I've went through is what made me who I am. So, I'm not really trying to change, you know, the outcome of that. Because if you go back and change some stuff in your life that you went through, you know, you never know who you would be. You never know how you would turn out. If that makes sense I hope it does but um yeah you never know so I'm gonna just say I'm cool I wouldn't change anything cuz I'm happy the way I turned out and and you know every day I continue to grow my mind continues to change like even from a couple years ago like I'm about to be 25 this year I'm like, wow. Like, girl, I'm about to be 25. But even from a couple of years ago, like, just the way I thought maybe when I was, like, 22, you know, I, like, I don't think different. I don't think the same now. And me and Trey was talking about that um, a couple of days ago, how one day we look up and we like, wow, we, we like, we change the stuff that we used to do we don't do anymore like it's just crazy it's crazy how life just you just mature and I feel like that's the goal like the goal in life is to mature you don't want to stay the same so the next question all right, so the next question is what do you feel most proud about um I am very proud of my baby like I'm very proud of him like he continues to make me so proud like he's calling now y'all girl I cannot believe it um that's the one of the most recent things that makes me proud is just having him and giving birth to him like I just love it I love motherhood and stuff so, I would say before him, um, what made me the most proud was, um, I'm proud, like, I was proud I made it this far, you know, that I graduated from my college and high school. Um, I'm, I'm proud that I accomplished all the things that I thought I couldn't accomplish. For instance, college got hard there at the end, um, so I, I'm very proud that I accomplished that. Um, let's see, what's your favorite music is the next question. I love Wale. I love her. SZA. Um, what's the girl name? Summer Walker. Basically, I just like soulful music. R&B music. Music you can sing to. Like, I really like music you can sing to. Because I just, I love to sing, girl. I love to hit me a, a little tune while I'm cleaning or cooking or just doing a project that's going to take a minute. I just love to have me some good music playing. Alright, so the next question is, what was one of your most defining moments? Um, um, one of my most defining moments was, so in school, right, I had ADD. And me and Trey was just talking about this, and I felt like, 
because I had a struggle understanding like schoolwork, I felt like life would be so much harder for me. Like, no joke. Like, I felt like life would be harder for me because of that. But when I went to college, like, it was a breeze, like, with understanding stuff. And I was just like, I don't know, I just felt that my life would be hard because I had ADD when I was younger. But, no, it, it's, it's not. And it's just, I don't know, it, it's just not hard to me. And that's, that's something that is a defining moment in my life because I feel like that's something that I overcame. Um, yeah, I just feel like that's something that I overcame. I'm very proud of it. Very, very proud of it. Alright, so the next question is, why did I choose my profession? And I chose my profession because, like... It's definitely what I love to do. I love to do hair. Um, it's a little different now that I have a child and that he's young. So I still do hair. I just don't do it as much as I did when I was, uh, when I didn't have a baby. And to me, that's okay. Like that's, that's part of life. Things come along, things change. But I would say, um, I chose my profession because I love it, y'all. And listen, I was so close, like so close to going to school for nursing. Because when I graduated high school, I was a CNA. Because I got my CNA license when I was in the 12th grade. So when I graduated, I was a CNA. And I was just seeing it as it's, it's stable money. You know what I'm saying? I, that's how I was just seeing it as a stable money. So that's why I was like, okay, let me be a nurse. But what changed my mind is like, I sat down. I was like, Tamia, why do you really want to go to nursing school? Why do you really want to go to hair school? And I decided I wanted to go to nursing school because of the money. Like, of course, I cared about taking care of people. But at the end of the day, it wasn't what I loved, loved to do. It wasn't like, you know... You want to live, sleep, eat, and breathe, whatever you do. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you really want to love it. And to me, nursing just, just wasn't something that I loved. It was more of a secondary career. Um, I wouldn't even call it a secondary career. I call it like a third, fourth um, career that I would choose. Ooh, I didn't miss up this one. That I would choose, but... I'm happy I didn't go that route. So, the next question is, what feels like love to you? Um, love to me is when... You, real, love is when you have a baby. That baby loves you, like... That baby loves you, girl. And it's like a love that's unexplained. Like, mama, I love you no matter how you look, no matter what mistakes you make. Like, having a child is love, okay? And with a companion or a spouse, I feel like when you love them, when you are willing to well you know their flaws and you willing to sit with them and work it out not just for like a monetary gain or to make yourself look better but you're sticking with them because that's who you love that's who you want to be with you know what I'm saying that's who makes you smile that's who know you more than anybody anybody you know in your life like that person knows you you you're gonna get on that person nerves and they're gonna get on your nerves but i know what this looks like and let's bring it all together because girl they gotta add it on too many colors girl we gonna blend it out and make it work put on some lashes and make it work <laughs>
okay, it looks like a little something, something. Once you blend it all together, you get a little life going. But girl, yeah. I don't know how this went from questions to just talking. But look, I'll be watching Red Table Talk, right? If you don't watch Red Table Talk, girl, watch it. It's so good. It's so, so good. And they have this card game out now. And it's supposed to be so that you can... My eyes twitching, Lord. So that you can further... I guess so that you can have um, deeper conversations with the people that you already know. You know, um, just to, you know, get to know them more. And, girl, it's good. It's very therapeutic to me. I love watching Red Table Talk. So, anyways, I ordered their cards, right? So, they'll be here um, pretty soon, probably next week sometime. And I'm going to come on here and answer some of the questions that are on their little flashcard games. I'm going to come on here, girl, answer these little questions for y'all. Because you never know who it might help. And y'all, let me tell y'all, I'm not even going to be lying. I'm not even going to lie. I was about to say be lying. I need, I'm not even going to lie. Here lately, I've really been thinking about quitting YouTube. Because I have other things that I'm trying to do. And it's just a little harder for me to fit it in. Um, and I've been doing YouTube because I want to grow my channel. And I don't see my channel growing um, like it should and stuff like that. So I really contemplated on quitting YouTube and stuff. But, I decided I'm going to keep on doing it. Even if my videos are not as consistent as they used to be, I'm still going to try to keep on doing it here and there. Okay. Oh. Okay, mama looking cute. Uh, oh, it's a little dot right there. Oh, it's a little piece of a little piece of hair, but girl, I'm gonna add a little beauty mark right there, girl. Let's see. <laughs> Can y'all see it? Can y'all? Ooh, a little mo. <laughs> Girl, that's cute. That's cute. I'm done with this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I know my shirt is wrinkled, but it's okay. Because I just put this shirt on for this video. And I was not going to earn it. Not going to earn it. Um. So, yeah. If you want to see how I did these crochet braids, I will list the link below. Let me make sure everything is falling correctly. But for the most part, this is it, y'all. This is it. Let me know what y'all think about this look. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I have another channel that I need to do some videos for. But it's called Tired Moms. It's for moms. I'm not quitting YouTube. I'm just slowing down a little bit, you know. But yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.